Hi, today we're looking at the Intelligencer by Surly. Uh, Surly is a bicycle brand, um, which makes this zine uh, quite interesting to me, uh, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more in the next video, um, just if you want to slide over now. But let's look at this one. So this one is, yeah, it's uh, probably like a 20 page zine, something like that. Um, it's quite cool. Uh, if you're into bikes, if you're into zines, um, especially if you're into bikes, there's not much else uh, other than bikes. But there's, you know, there's some stories from people, that, from riders that have contributed into Surly, uh, into the, the zine. Um, you know, there's some there's stories about races, there's stories about adventures, there's stories about some bicycle parts, the dropouts, the back of the back, the back of the frame where the, the back wheel connects into. Um, so it's very bicycle orientated, but a very cool intelligence uh, by Surly. Let's have a look at the next video. Yeah, so this is interesting because I think, you know, Surly is quite, quite a, it's an international brand. So they've got money to make a magazine, a color magazine. Um, they've got money for that, probably, surely. <laughs> um, but they've decided to make a zine. Um, which is, I think, this is issue number five. I wish I didn't say in the first one, but this is issue number five. It's a quarterly zine they make. Um, and I think that puts a lot of, I think that shows maybe the, the people that are working for Surly and also how much, uh, trust or how much they put behind zines. And it also shows that there's a bit more of a resurgence again. Zines didn't really die. Zines will probably never die, but... There is a there is you know waves there is patterns there's a bit of a resurgence and I think that's cool that Surly went behind and uh, went behind the zine culture and made a zine and not just a magazine so good on you Surly thanks.